Hey what's up, this is Jacksput from Windows Fin Hacker. So I just got around to getting the Tango emulator unlocked. This is the emulator build uh, 7.10.8731. Uh, so that's a little bit before the uh, actual Tango version that seems to be on retail vi devices, which is 8757. So a couple of things are different, but this should give us a general idea of what will be in the Tango update. Um, so here's the unlocked emulator. You can get this from my site, windowsphonehacker.com. And I'm just going to dive into some of the more obvious features because honestly, there are not a lot of changes in Tango. Uh, so the first uh, pretty big one is the new MMS system, which allows you to have multiple attachments and a couple of other things. So I'll just type in a dummy name right here. And I'll go ahead and uh, start composing a message. Now from here I can attach, uh, I can look at the attachment button and it asks if I want a picture or video or a voice note. Um, and I'm going to go with a picture or video. And this lets me go to my camera roll which is empty or I can add in a photo uh, from the default album. So we'll go ahead and add in that photo. And now instead of having the remove attachment uh, little icon, I can still click this and add more items to it. So I'll add another picture and I'll add that one. And here I can type in between them and so forth. Uh, if I want to remove one, oops, if I want to remove one, I can hold down on it and press remove and get rid of it. And it still gives me that sort of new line because this is this allows me to basically compose a message and put in, uh, image attachments and format them inside it. So that's pretty nice. Um, let me just take a look at that real quick again. And so you can see I can add different captions to different photos and so on and so forth. Um, I can also add voice notes and basically it just tells me to talk right now when I can say whatever I want. It gives me up to a minute and I can press done. Uh, the funny thing about the voice notes is if you go to click on the voice note attachment, it'll think for a bit and then say we can't play this file on your phone. Uh, so I don't know what that's about. I don't know if there's like a codec issue on the desktop or it's something Microsoft is working on or if you literally cannot play back the voice notes that you just created. So I don't know what that's about, but hopefully we can see that uh, fixed or cleaned up or whatever. Um, so that's that, and of course if I try to send it, it won't work because this is on the emulator, but I can I can expand my message and see the different things, and here it says uh, blah blah blah, contact your mobile operator to adjust your settings. Uh, and I don't know if that's new, but I have had some issues with MMS in the past, and that you know just makes things a little bit uh, more clear as to why the sending failed. Uh, you can also send videos and the interesting thing about that is if I go into here, of course I can still uh, snap a photo here, but for some reason it won't let me bring up the camera. I don't know why that is, uh, the, the video camera. I don't know why that is, but um, if I want to send a video, I can head into camera. Uh, do I want to use my location? Not yet. Uh, but I'll go ahead and click on the video thing, and I'll go ahead and snap a quick video. And Maybe I can just send it right from here. And yeah, I can go to messaging, and there's my video. I can also go over here, picture or video, and I can attach it directly from the camera roll. And if I click on this, uh, it should load up and play the few seconds of the video, and there we go. Uh, so that works a little bit better than the uh, um, than the voice note issue we had. Um, so that's that. Obviously, there's nothing in the video because uh, there's no actual camera on the emulator, but that's that's the new MMS system, and of course, all the other old features, such as just the regular threads and all that, and um, doing voice text still work, so that's cool. Uh, now, some of the other changes I noticed uh, going into settings, uh, this the way I unlocked this, I didn't really research uh, which category these things go in. So some of these things are really supposed to be under applications. So I uh, don't think they added a whole bunch of junk into this uh, system uh, category because that was just my mistake. But other than that, everything here is completely unlocked and you've got access to pretty much everything. Uh, I did notice under messaging, there's uh, delivery confirmation and MMS confirmation and MMS acknowledgement. And I think those are new. Um, also, uh, I think there was one more thing. Oh, right. So um, Tom Warren over on The Verge today posted a something about having a new uh, location icon for uh, that'll pop up up here whenever the location services are in use. And uh, this is actually baked into the emulator already, so I'll just show you that real quick. 
and it says allow uh, maps to access and use your location. I'll click allow, and that little icon pops up there. Uh, that's basically just a little uh, diamond with a little dot in it that says the location services are on. Um, and that disappears as soon as I close maps, though I did notice if I open up my own application. Wait for that to load. There we go. And uh, start that. Sometimes it'll go away and sometimes it won't. For example, if I uh, if I run if I run the location service, let me just show you that real quick. So I start it. There's the location service and it's running. And I navigate away. The location icon still appears, uh, even if I close out the application. So uh, that's a little bit interesting. And even if I go in. And the next time I launch the application, I go ahead and stop the location service uh, from being in use. Then uh, the location icon still appears there. So I don't know what that's about. Uh, it might be a glitch. Maybe the location services are still on, and maybe there's a glitch there. Uh, but that is interesting. It will tell you when the location service is enabled. Uh, it doesn't. It won't appear. For example, if you go to Internet Explorer and no I don't want to do that and head over to say maps on Google and uh, do I want to share my location yes and uh, well actually the location thing's still there right now but if I let's see go back to go back to settings and I'll turn off location real quick just to show you this and for some reason location icon is still there so see it's a little bit glitchy um, but what I was going to show you is that when you're in uh, if you're in an, uh, an application such as Internet Explorer and you try to bring up the location thing the location icon doesn't pop up but it does know your location uh, same with Bing so I think it's only if it's using the uh, the GPS itself um, for getting the coordinates that this will appear uh, but hopefully we can see this tightened up and cleaned it's certainly certainly a nice thing to be able to know whenever your location is being uh, tracked in that way but of course uh, I don't think I don't think like cellular uh, cellular tower locations actually uh, affect this so that's just a quick look at some of the changes in tango hopefully you'll like the unlocked emulator it's really that much better to develop with so uh, anyway if you like it be sure to give the, the video a thumbs up and head over to my website give me some suggestions uh, you know is what you want to see if you have any questions let me know uh, so on and so forth so thanks for watching